Have you ever thought about having a snake as a pet? You might be surprised to know that snake ownership is a growing trend. These slithery companions are unique, fascinating, and nothing short of extraordinary. However, they're not your typical pets. They require a level of care that's different from cats or dogs. It's a unique commitment, but one that can be incredibly rewarding. Ready to slither into the world of snake ownership? Let's dive into the different types of snakes suitable as pets. There are numerous snake species out there, but not all make good pets. We've handpicked a few that are commonly kept and loved by owners. Let's dive in. First up, corn snakes. These are a favorite among beginners due to their docile nature and moderate size, reaching about four to five and a half feet in length when fully grown. Their beautiful color variations from deep reds to vibrant oranges are a sight to behold. Corn snakes are also known for their hardiness and adaptability, making them excellent choices for first-time snake owners. Next, ball pythons. Named for their defensive habit of curling into a tight ball, these snakes are renowned for their calm demeanor and striking patterns. They typically grow to be around 3 to 5 feet long, making them a manageable size for most owners. Ball pythons come in a variety of colors and patterns, with some morphs being highly sought after by enthusiasts. Then we have the garter snakes. These are some of the smallest snakes you can keep as pets, usually growing no more than 2 to 3 feet long. They are known for their active behavior and bright contrasting colors. Garter snakes also have the unique trait of being one of the few snake species that eat a varied diet including fish and amphibians. Lastly, king snakes. These snakes are quite popular due to their wide range of colors and patterns. King snakes can grow to be about 3 to 6 feet long and are known for their docile temperament. Interestingly, they get their royal name from their habit of preying on other snakes in the wild. Each of these snake species has its own charm and unique characteristics. They all make wonderful pets, but it's essential to choose the one that best suits your lifestyle and preferences. Remember, owning a pet snake is a long-term commitment, often lasting over two decades. Choosing the right snake is the first step. Next, let's explore how to care for these slithering pets. Snakes are not your typical pet, and they need a specialized habitat to thrive. Just as we humans need a comfortable home, snakes also need an environment that suits their unique needs. So, let's dive into setting up a snake habitat. First things first, you need a proper enclosure. The size of the enclosure will depend on the species and size of your snake. As a rule of thumb, the length of the enclosure should be at least half the length of your snake. However, it's always better to provide a larger space if you can. Remember, your snake's enclosure is its entire world. Now let's talk about heating. Snakes are cold-blooded creatures which means they can't regulate their body temperature like we do. So, you'll need to provide a heat source. This can be a heat lamp or a heating pad. It's also important to create a temperature gradient, meaning one side of the enclosure is warmer than the other. This allows your snake to regulate its body temperature by moving between the warm and cool areas. Another crucial factor is humidity. Snakes need a certain level of humidity to shed their skin properly. This varies depending on the species but generally it should be between 50 and 70 percent. You can maintain this by misting the enclosure with water and using a substrate that retains moisture. Hiding spots and climbing opportunities are also essential. Snakes in the wild have plenty of places to hide and climb, and your pet snake should have the same opportunities. Providing multiple hiding spots and climbing structures will allow your snake to exhibit its natural behaviors, leading to a happier and healthier pet. Lastly, remember to keep the enclosure clean. Regular cleaning not only keeps your snake healthy, but also prevents unpleasant odors. In conclusion, setting up a snake habitat involves more than just buying an enclosure. You need to think about the size, heating, humidity, and enrichment opportunities. But remember, creating a comfortable habitat is crucial. But it doesn't stop there. Let's move on to snake nutrition. Scene script. Feeding a snake is not the same as feeding a dog or cat. It's a whole different ballgame. Now let's talk about the diet of these fascinating creatures. Snakes are carnivorous, and their meals usually consist mainly of rodents. Yes, you heard it right. Your pet snake's menu will typically feature mice, rats, and on occasion, rabbits or birds for larger species. The size of the prey should be appropriate for the size of the snake, generally not wider than the snake's body at its widest point. The frequency of feeding your snake can depend on various factors, including the age, size, and species of the snake. Young snakes generally require more frequent feeding, typically every five to seven days, since they are growing and need more energy. Adult snakes, on the other hand, can be fed less often, usually every one to two weeks. Of course, these are just general guidelines, 
and it's always best to consult with a reptile specialist or vet for advice tailored to your specific snake. Now we've got to address the elephant in the room, or rather, the rodent in the freezer. You see, pet owners have two options when it comes to feeding their snakes, live prey or frozen prey. Live prey might seem more natural but it comes with its own set of challenges. For one, live rodents can potentially harm the snake if the snake doesn't manage to strike successfully on the first try. On the other hand, frozen prey is often a safer, more convenient choice, it can be stored in your freezer and thawed when it's mealtime. However, some snakes may initially be reluctant to accept frozen prey, and it might take some patience and perseverance to get them accustomed. Feeding your snake can be a unique and rewarding part of owning these remarkable pets. It allows you to participate in a process that is a fundamental part of their existence and offers a glimpse into their natural behavior. Remember a well-fed snake is a happy snake. But what about when they're not so happy? Like any pet, snakes can also encounter health issues. It's important to understand that our slithery friends have unique health needs that require our attention. Let's explore some of the most common health issues that pet snakes often face. Firstly, respiratory infections. These are usually brought on by improper habitat conditions, such as low temperatures or high humidity levels. Signs of a respiratory infection can include wheezing, mucus around the mouth or nostrils, and a lack of appetite. If you notice these symptoms in your snake, it's time to consult a vet. Next, we have mites. These tiny parasites can infest your snake's skin and cause significant discomfort. A snake with mites may frequently rub its body against surfaces to ease the irritation. You might also spot tiny black or red dots moving on your snake's body or in its habitat. If you suspect mites, it's best to take your snake to a vet who can provide the appropriate treatment. Lastly, shedding issues. A healthy snake will shed its skin in one complete piece. However, problems can arise if the humidity in your snake's habitat is too low, causing the skin to stick and shed in patches. This can be quite stressful for your snake and may even lead to infections if not addressed timely. If your snake is having trouble shedding, you might need to increase the humidity in its habitat or seek professional advice. Remember these are just a few of the common health issues that pet snakes can face. Regular checkups with a vet who specializes in reptiles can help prevent many of these problems before they become serious. It's crucial to monitor your snake's behavior and physical condition closely. Changes in appetite, activity level or appearance can often be the first signs of a health issue. Keeping an eye on your snake's health ensures they live a long happy life. Let's wrap things up. App. Owning a snake is a unique experience, but it's not for everyone. That's a statement we can't stress enough. It's not just about the cool factor or the uniqueness, it's about responsibility, commitment and understanding the needs of these fascinating creatures. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. Choosing the right snake is the first crucial step. Remember, some species like the corn snake or the ball python make great pets for beginners due to their manageable size and mild temperament, but always do your research before making a decision. Creating a proper habitat is equally important. Snakes are not your average pets. They need specific living conditions that mimic their natural environment. This includes the right temperature, humidity, and hiding spots. It's about creating a home, not just a cage. Feeding your snake is a unique task. Snakes are carnivores and their diet mainly consists of rodents. Some snakes eat weekly, others monthly. It's crucial to understand and respect their natural feeding cycle. Lastly, keep an eye out for common health issues. Respiratory infections, mites, and shedding problems are just a few of the issues that could arise. Regular vet checkups and proper care can prevent or treat these issues. If you're ready to embrace the challenge and unique experience of snake ownership, you're in for an exciting journey. Remember, every snake deserves a knowledgeable and committed owner.